Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! So I've mentioned a couple times that uh, YouTube's not my full-time job. I wish like hell it was, but uh, I actually do this. But before that, I've worked at multiple different jobs, like most people. Fast food restaurants, uh, grocery stores, stuff like that. One of my previous jobs was actually working graveyard shift at a convenience store. Actually, I think some of my craziest stories are from that gas station. But today I'm going to actually tell you about just one particular instance from... So, like I said, I was working graveyard. I had just been going through training the last couple days to get the hang of the POS system, the customers, how to handle them, and and how to keep them in a good mood. You know, you kind of expect a little bit of, uh, how should I put this, drama when you work the graveyard shift. Anyway, there I am, standing at the counter. I, my shift had just recently started. In fact, this was my first solo night working graveyard. I'm getting settled in for the evening. It's usually pretty slow at the beginning of the night, up until about quarter past 12. So I was just feeling this out. Not even 20 minutes into being the lone ranger on this shift. Two cars come in, park at the gas pumps. One of them stays out there. I, I didn't really pay much attention to them. And the other individual was a woman yelling and screaming at the other car, and I'm thinking to myself, oh god, we're starting this already. Anyway, she's actually, she actually comes into the store, continuing to yell at this guy, apparently about him tailing her from a bar and riding her ass and her assuming that he wants to hook up with her. So I'm like, okay, as long as she doesn't get too wild and start making a mess, let her vent. Then all of a sudden she yells, you know what, here, and whoom, yep, those are tatas. In frustration, this woman decided to lift up her shirt and flash the guy at the pumps while in the store, in front of me. I didn't mind, and at least they weren't droopy. Obviously fake, but not droopy. <laughs> I don't think they can be if they're fake. Anyway, with those out in the open and uh, that out of her system, she calmly puts down her shirt, turns to me and goes, It's okay, I'm from Vegas. That didn't necessarily set the tone for my workplace experience, but it definitely set a bar. I mean, there weren't very many nights that topped that first one. I'm trying to decide whether that last sentence was a pun. Yeah, I figured I'd share this little story of a misadventure from my past and, uh... Maybe ask you guys, do you guys have any crazy stories like that? Not necessarily someone bearing all in front of uh, security cameras and the clerk, but something that could be considered equally as crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, maybe consider subscribing. If you are subscribed to my channel, think about hitting that little notification bell so you can find out when the next video is coming out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. This story not brought to you by Belly Button Lint.